The place looked much different now. No, that was wrong. It looked exactly the same, but he felt it should be different from what it had been back then. The walls were still robin's egg blue, plaster cracked and chipped in the same ways they were years ago. He glanced up, and the ceiling was still splotched brown with water damage. One of the larger stains hung near the light fixture and was vaguely shaped like a toaster. He could remember staring up at all the spots, trying to give names to the shapes, doing his best not to think about anything else. He wondered if someone else might visit this place, after a decade of being free of it, would also find it as unchanged for them. Sounds penetrated the thin walls and seeped through the closed window. The way they echoed up and down the corridors even felt the same. The words were different, but the tone of each indistinct voice reverberated through him with noxious familiarity. His fists clenched at his sides by habit. Hey, you still with us? What? He turned from the slowly collapsing walls to his companion. Are you good? They asked. We can go if you need. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. You don't look fine. I'm fine. He said again, firmly. There was a beat of silence as they stared at him. What were you saying? I wasn't saying anything. Okay. Silence encompassed the two again, and he looked away, fighting not to get drawn once more into the counterfeit nostalgia that seemed to weep from this broken place. Do you have any good memories of here? His companion asked. He allowed his eyes to flicker to the corner where a couch used to be, but now only a couple of wooden chairs stood. His focus shifted to the wall beside it, where there was still a foot-shaped hole just above the floor molding. He returned his gaze to his companion. I'm sure I have a few. 